What's going on everyone? It is Joe DeLongwear and I just got back yesterday from the Equip Expo, also known as GIE. I got about 10 minutes worth of footage, so let's jump right into that. And then at the end, I have some thoughts about you DIYers out there and homeowners about the Equip Expo. So stay tuned to the end because it's really important. I really think everyone should know about this. So let's jump right into that footage. So it's, I love 
We found through testing with the smooth roller, you get a little more slide. Yeah. Here you're getting a more grab of the grass to yeah. help push it down. Yeah. Um, and then once you get past that point, the brush is adjustable. You can take it up or down. Okay. So let's say, you know, obviously you're in the north, cool climates, you're going to get some foliage down, you're starting to mulch, you don't want to be dragging all of your leaves with you, so you just go ahead each side, it lifts up, you tighten it down. Um, or really the brush came into play is you're essentially getting a double effect on your on your push of the grass and you know, whatever direction yeah. you're headed. Yeah. And then really the cool feature is this angled out piece. Okay. So I'm sure you'll appreciate it again, being that it's from like in the northern climates. When I So as you can see there, there is a big push for batteries. I mean, there are just about every lawnmower manufacturer out there at this point has dived into the battery 
uh, some sort, either whether it's a lawnmower, the tr string trimmers, the blowers, you name it, they've jumped into the battery game. So the battery mowers, obviously, like I said, they are super popular, but the batteries themselves, I want to talk about them and this whole battery movement that we're going to, but that's for another, that's a future video. But if you guys notice, I was opening and closing their compartments a lot to see where the batteries go. And just about all those compartments are plastic. And even a lot of the components on these mowers are plastic. And I'm just worried about the longevity of these mowers, you know, for future, you know, you know, years. And, um, I, you know, Toro has a stripe, a st electric striping one now. It's, it's made design for striping. And that whole bottom part was plastic. I mean, or some sort of plastic something. I don't know if it was fiberglass, but it felt like plastic to me. And who knows? I, I like to see the longevity on some of these. And, you know, let's see what, what the future holds. So as you can see, the Equip Expo, I mean, it's huge. I, I didn't even show you half of the stuff because I want, personally wanted to walk around myself and just to get an idea of it my first year being there. And, I mean, there's a whole part for hardscaping. I showed a, a short clip of Christmas lights. They have Christmas light out uh, wholesalers out there. So, you know, the landscapers, you know, they like to do something in the off season to continue to make money, and that's a big push for them. But there's hardscaping back there. I mean, you name it is there. And it's a very overwhelming day. I got there pretty much right at 9 a.m. when it first opened on Thursday, that, uh, October 20th. And... I was there pretty much until like about four o'clock, I would say 3.30, 4 o'clock, and it was a long day. So if you plan on going next year, just take your time, take breaks, because you're gonna need it, because it's just aisle after aisle of different vendors, different equipment, different tools, you name it, you'll see. But in my humble opinion on this whole GIE thing or Equip Expo, you know, you see a ton of influencers out there posting, oh, this mower, oh my God, that mower, this mower, oh, it's the greatest thing in the world. You know, this is this is the future technology, you know, this and that. But half the people that go to this, and this is from what I've seen from people talking to people while I was there, it's mostly people that are in the commercial game. I mean, if you're if you're a landscaper, a hardscaper, uh, a lawn, you know, you have a lawn business. I mean, or a fertilizer business, a, you know, a fur and spray kind of business. Those are the kind of people that are going there. I know what you guys are thinking. You're like, ah, oh, he's just knocking these people for going there every year and putting their shit up online and trying to get content and this and that. And no, I'm just trying to be realistic to you guys because. I, that's that's what it is it's a it, it's for commercial people it's for people that get deals that are in the industry they can get you know it, it's 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 really it's a really a, a salesman you know holiday because they want to they want to get they want to get inventory moving they want to get bookings they want to get you know things moving along their pipelines and that's what they're hoping for is for commercial guys to come in there and sign stuff right now and get things moving and that's all really I saw out of going there. So let me know if you've gone to the Equip Expo in the past or GIE, let me know what you think of it. Uh, you know, because obviously if you've gone this year or last year, I wanna know. I mean, if, is it? do you guys think it's worth it for a DIY or homeowner to go to it? Or do you agree with me being a, a commercial side of it? I mean, obviously there are two aspects of the Equip Expo. There are is the actual expo, and then there's people that are going and meeting up. And I do appreciate those channels, like the Grass Factor channel and having their Patreon page. They're using their money from their Patreon page to pay for a lot of this stuff that we, we went to and, and met up and saw. And I really appreciate those channels, whether it's they're, they're the channels that I agree with and or the channels that I don't agree with. I love seeing those channels put back into their community and get people to come together. It was awesome seeing some of these guys. Like I said, some of these, uh, actually some of the YouTubers that I met, you know, just to name a few, Robert Palmer I saw. I saw Cam uh, as well from Elevated Lawnscapes. I mean, I saw uh, Vince the Longineer actually in the uh, airport on my way back home. He was on my flight back to Philly, which is kind of funny. Um, I saw Clint, the neighbor dominator, had a great conversation with him. It was really nice meeting these people in person and seeing how much, how, how really how nice they are in person. And so, uh, like I said, there's two aspects of that. For me, 
the aspect that I enjoyed the most was meeting the people, seeing the people that I talked to through a screen, just like I am right now. I'm talking through a screen to you guys, and it was just great seeing someone face to face. It was a little weird at first, you know, you got to get used to that whole, you know, seeing someone in person kind of thing, but. I really enjoyed that part of it, seeing someone, communicating with someone face to face and just talking. Again, if you have gone to the expo before, please make sure you comment below. I do want to know your thoughts. And if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you smash that like button. It really does help out with the channel. And like always, guys, if you're interested in my other content, I'm available on Instagram. I'm available on TikTok. Go check me out there. And like always, guys, I'll see you in the next one.